Recommended instructions for use. Reflex safe safety needles are easy to use. However, to be effective, one has to use them correctly. Follow these steps. View the diagram of the needle with its various parts. Prepare and collect all items for the intended clinical procedure as per standard operating procedure. Select an appropriate gauge and length reflex safe needle. Inspect the outer package for any damage. If damage to the package is noted, discard and replace with a needle from an undamaged package. Perform hand hygiene and glove. To open, peel down cover to demarcated line. Grip the blister package between thumb and index finger at the indentation and fold the base of the plastic packaging down to expose the hub of the needle. Connect the syringe to the needle hub using a syringe with either a lure slip or a lure lock connection. Withdraw a reflex safe needle from the package. Hold the syringe in normal position for the procedure and then make the reflex safe needle ready for use by holding the syringe near the bottom of the syringe barrel while pushing the protective end cap towards the syringe. The silicone sleeve will fold into the shape of two wings. Remove protective needle guide straw while holding your grip on the silicone sleeve's wing. Perform the intended clinical procedure while releasing your hold on the silicone spring sleeve as soon as the needle tip is in the intended position for the specific clinical procedure, be it within the muscle when performing an intramuscular injection, or within the lumen of the vein when performing a phlebotomy procedure. Note, releasing your hold of the silicone sleeve will allow the passive safety mechanism to become available. It is thus key to release the finger hold on the silicone sleeve at the appropriate stage during the clinical procedure. Withdraw the needle. Check if the needle's passive safety feature deployed correctly and that the needle is therefore in the safe position with the end cap covering the needle tip. Discard the used needle plus syringe as a unit. In other words, the syringe with needle attached into an approved sharps waste container. Do not let your fingers accidentally enter the sharps container. Discard the empty syringe package and needle's straw-like cover in an approved medical waste receiver. Important information when performing an intramuscular injection using a reflex-safe safety needle. Note, it is assumed that the clinician is acquainted with the clinical procedure and is following standard operating procedures. When withdrawing drugs from vials or glass ampules for an IM injection, a two-needle protocol is recommended. The first needle, preferably be a large-bore, blunt-fill needle, is used to withdraw the medication from the vial. The second needle, used to perform the IM injection, should be a reflex-safe safety needle to protect the clinician from a needle stick injury. Withdraw the medication with a blunt-fill needle. Remove any air bubbles from the syringe. Detach and appropriately discard the blunt fill needle. Then connect the reflex safe passive safety needle. Hold the syringe in normal position for the procedure and then make the reflex safe needle ready for use by holding the syringe near the bottom of the syringe barrel while pushing the protective end cap towards the syringe. Hold silicone wing with one finger against the side of the syringe with a hand in a darting position. Dart needle into the selected muscle for IM injection, then remove your finger holding the silicone wing to allow the passive safety mechanism to be available. It is of utmost importance that the clinician releases his or her finger hold from the silicone wing before injecting as to make the safety feature available during and after the injection procedure. Use the hand previously holding the silicone sleeve to perform the injection. Withdraw the needle. Check if the needle's passive safety feature deployed correctly and that the needle is therefore in the safe position with the end cap covering the needle tip. Discard the used needle plus syringe as a unit into an approved Sharps waste container. Discard the empty syringe package and needle's straw-like cover in an approved medical waste receiver. 
Important information when performing a phlebotomy procedure using a reflex safe safety needle. Note, it is assumed that the clinician is acquainted with a clinical procedure and is following standard operating procedures. Kindly note, the bevel of the needle tip is facing up or towards the blister paper's side. Thus, the needle is pre-packed in the correct plane for entering a selected vein. Once the needle has entered the vein, it is of utmost importance that the clinician releases his or her finger hold from the silicone wing before proceeding with the phlebotomy procedure as to make the safety feature available during and after the procedure. Use the hand previously holding the silicone sleeve against the side of the syringe to handle the plunger. For instance, pulling back the plunger to draw blood into the syringe. Withdraw the needle. Check if the needle's passive safety feature deployed correctly and that the needle is therefore in the safe position with the end cap covering the needle tip. Discard the used needle plus syringe as a unit into an approved Sharps waste container. Discard the empty syringe package and needle straw-like cover in an approved medical waste receiver. Warning! Never test the safety needle's effectiveness by tapping the end cap after use. Discard immediately and appropriately after use. Disclaimer. Despite the greatest care and development in manufacturing, neither the manufacturers nor the distributors nor the patent holder or representing legal entities can offer any guarantees on the avoidance of needle stick injuries. Using the reflex safe safety needles correctly according to the instructions for use can only reduce the risk of needle stick injuries to a bare minimum. There is no substitute for being careful in a clinical setting. Are you looking for a magnificent training tool for clinical procedures? The Apprentice Doctor Venipuncture course and kit teaches hands-on skills related to various types of injections, IV, and phlebotomy procedures. Visit www.theapprenticedoctor.com for more information.